The cold air we're dealing with has dramatically dropped water temperatures in the Gulf, causing problems for marine life. Right, so check out what we found on Action Air wow. 1 today, flying over the Big Bend Power Station in Apollo Beach. All that happening this afternoon. You can see dozens of manatees just trying to huddle together to keep warm. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is live in Hernando Beach to show us how other animals are handling the cold weather. Right now, the water temperature off the coast of Hernando County is in the 40s. That's why some fish and marine life are in danger if they don't get to warmer water. Tropical fish, turtles and manatees all like warm Gulf water, but right now they're in trouble. Warm water fish like snook are showing up dead along Florida's east coast. A fishing guide in Oak Hill shot this video and Florida Fish and Wildlife say they've received more than 100 reports of dead fish since the last cold snap. Tropical fish such as a snook or jack creval are more susceptible when the weather gets as cold um, the water temperature can drop pretty quickly and cause mortality events such as a fish kill more than 900 stunned sea turtles have been saved this year already off the florida coast many animals are saved because people are reporting them to florida fish and wildlife we'll get there we'll assess the animal um, if they're fine, we'll leave them alone. Otherwise, we'll try to get them to a rehab center. Or they'll bring them to the power plant at Apollo Beach, where hundreds of manatees are huddling in the warm water produced by the power plant. The sea life that can are heading into warmer springs, like Weekiwachi Spring State Park, where the natural spring water stays a warm 72 degrees all year. This is a, you know, a natural event. It's a naturally occurring cold weather event. We just would encourage people to report their fish kills to our hotline. And that's why wildlife officials stress to anyone who may see stunned fish, manatees or turtles to call that hotline so they can come out and try to help. Live in Hernando Beach, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.